We are in the building. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to Art Talk with your art instructor, Kevin Long. And you are in the Art Attack studio right now, live. If you're on Facebook, you are now live with me in the studio. To all the students watching, we're going to have fun doing this piece right here. What I'm painting, the name of this is the Nubian Princess. Okay? This painting is going to be featured in the Air Amazing Weekly Art Auction. Probably next week or something like that. All right? So now what we're going to do is get started with the background on this. And we're going to keep it clean. We're going to keep this part clean so that we can drop some tones in here a little later, all right? Now, this background is going to be green. So I'm going to start with that. And there's a reason I start with the back on this. It's because what we're trying to do is have some nice color coming out of this the flesh and you have to keep it clean in order to get your colors right now this is a pre-cut stencil this is a stencil that I cut myself never buy stencils I don't recommend that I mean I know I'm knocking some companies out there but either way don't ever buy a stencil because you can cut them yourself. This is a starving artist class. So I'm showing you how to do it with, you know, little or no money spent on materials. So you want to spend as least money as you can, as little money as you can on materials. And that's one way to save is to cut your own stencils. All right. These are going to be streaks later in the background. So what I'm doing is... I'm going to use the background, the colors from the canvas. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas, okay? Which is relatively small canvas for what I usually do. I like larger canvases, 24 by 30 and things like that. But this is cool because I can paint on anything. I paint anything on anything. All right? So what we're doing is we're going to drop this yellow later in the background. It's going to have a golden effect because what I'm blending is yellow and brown in here later. And it's going to be really nice. You're going to like it. So the auction is going to start at $25 for this piece. All right. And also I want to say, a big what's up to my YouTube family because this is going to air on YouTube as well for my students there as well. All right. Now, anybody that's not a student yet, you can become one anytime. You can email me at Kevalone. That's K-E-V-A-L-O-N-E at gmail.com if you want to do some private classes. If you want to just enjoy learning by yourself in the privacy of your own home without me, you can definitely watch these instructional videos. This right here is class number three, okay? And class number two and one, you can watch those on YouTube. And that's at Art Talk with artist Kevalone, your art instructor. And again, that's Art Talk at YouTube.com. All right? Now, this is coming along pretty smooth right now. I'm liking it. You see how I'm using the stencil here? This is actually just a piece of paper. All right? What I do a lot, I use a lot of copy paper because I have a copier. And I try to save money, and I'm sure you want to save money as well. So I want you to learn in a way that, you know, 
you're gonna really be affordably enjoying your craft, all right? And if you don't have it yet, then you will. You will eventually, all right? Now this Nubian Princess is not really a new piece. I've done this a couple of times, but I've done it much larger than this. I was seated a little while ago, now I'm standing so that I can get some reach, some range here. And you want proper ventilation when you're airbrushing. Remember that, folks. Don't ever airbrush in a closed in area, it's unhealthy, all right? I want you all to live to be able to sell the painting later and to enjoy people enjoying your art. So I'm holding a stencil here to protect the area that's some loose masking. This is called masking. And this masking is loose, all right? Some masking is covering with, they spray adhesive on the back and they cover it. Now the stencils come in different shapes. When you have a piece like this, for example, what you wanna do is pre-cut your stencils for the situations you're gonna be in. So her booty at the bottom is round, so I'm gonna make this edge useful right now to cover that so that the green doesn't get all into the flesh tone because we want a nice little brown flesh tone on this Nubian princess here, all right? Everybody that's watching, welcome. You in the Art Attack studio right now. If you don't know what Art Attack is, Art attack is when I jump right on a canvas or a t-shirt or a motorcycle, or as y'all have seen on my page, I do helicopters. I've done all kinds of things. Not to brag, but this is just my resume a little bit. And I want you to know what I'm qualified to do so that you know I'm qualified to instruct you. Now you don't have to know how to draw to do this. I know some people probably don't believe me, but I have techniques I can show you in the private training where you really don't have to know how to draw, to paint, to airbrush. You can have fun. A lot of people have fun with this as a hobby. Some people, and then some people actually get paid doing it. So they go to malls and things like that and festivals maybe the boardwalk, it depends on where you live at and what's convenient for you. There's a lot of places that, you know, would hire an artist or at least allow you to flex your skills in front of people that come to their store. Now, if you notice, I'm gradually darkening this, okay? Don't ever jump right into the darkest color that you need, all right? And you wanna leave a little area if you're going with multiple colors on an area. So this is gonna have like a golden streaks in it from the yellow and the brown later. And that's what is basically gonna make this background pop is the duality of the colors. The contrast of the yellow, the gold, golden yellow, if you will. And this is our background building right now. I'm gonna get on the princess in a little bit, but I have to establish where she's at. And you know she's naked and afraid, so it's like I have to give her a little atmosphere. All right, but this is a, this is gonna be a beautiful piece. You'll see a little later. As you notice, she has a fro, a nice fro, and that's gonna be black, of course. And that also will be later. And we're going in right now. Now when I change to the yellow, the yellow is gonna blend inside this airbrush, okay? The yellow is gonna blend with this green to make a nice color and create an effect on the background. And that's what we're doing right now. Now, all of you that are watching right now, you are really a student of the game, and I appreciate you coming in and checking me out. I'm going to try to do 
alive every week. And I don't know how many days a week, I'll let you know on the page, which is Kevalone Art Attack, of course, on Facebook. And Art Talk is what we're doing right now. We're talking in art and Art Talk on YouTube. And you've seen some of the videos if you've been on this page before. You know that I talk about crazy and interesting people as I paint them, okay? And I airbrush them with this. This is the Iwata Neo, okay? This is a really vicious airbrush, and it's really inexpensive compared to other Iwata. Iwata is the brand, and Iwata makes expensive brushes. They go up to three, five hundred dollars $500, some of them are $1,000. Believe it or not, this is $80. This is a dual action, and I go into that in class number one. Okay, you might want to go check that out, what dual action means in case you don't know. You might want to go check that out. And that's class number one. And that's on YouTube, of course. All right. So now we have our background laid out a little bit. All right. She's coming along. She's going to be in here eventually. <laughs> and this is the Nubian princess right here. You'll see this on the auction. It's going to start at $25, okay? I want you to see me painting it sometimes so you know these are real paintings it's not just a like a HD photo or anything these are actual paintings that are hand painted with love by your art instructor Kevin Long. so if y'all want to support the machine right here and you want to support the studio right here you could order something I do custom artwork or you could buy this painting and you could also donate for art supplies and things like that if you like just to support the studio here this is the art attack studio and i'm art attacking this piece right now i didn't know if y'all were ready or not for that but i had to art attack this piece i gotta get some things on the page on the other channel which is air amazing because this is air okay this is an airbrush so we call that air amazing weekly art auction okay I want y'all to show up and support the page. Like some of the pieces. Hit like sometime. If you can't buy anything, I appreciate you hitting like. It won't cost you anything to do that. You should go to YouTube too, if you can, and check out those videos. You don't even have to watch them the whole way. You could click on them. That would help me out. All right? Just click on them, make a comment or something, or maybe just like it. And subscribe to the channel. And that's Art Talk. A-R-T-A-L-K. At YouTube.com. It's a very unique channel. Now what I'm doing now, I'm changing from the green to the yellow, alright? But I'm not going to clean it. Usually I spray through and clean it to make another color come in clean. So now I'm going to dust this yellow in the back. It's going to have a popping color. This will warm up any room, okay? This right here, this piece, is supposed to have energy. The colors are going to have energy. And it's going to light up your day when you look at this piece, okay? Now I'm going to dust a little yellow right here just to show you. You see that? I don't know if you ever see that clear. But this is starting to pop. You know how those chefs say, I wish you were here to smell it? I wish you were here to see this, lighting up this room. Because <laughs> this thing is getting ready to start rocking, all right? Yeah, for everybody new, my name is Kevin Lone. That's what they call me online. That's my presence online. You could Google that and see. A lot of things I've done and places that I'm featuring my work. And YouTube is one of my homes here at Facebook. This is one of my homes right here. Now we're going to jump into the yellow in these areas here. All right. So all of these white areas here is where I'm going to dust the yellow. Then I'm going to go with the brown. Okay. So y'all get ready for that. Here we go. 
Now the white that I used, in case y'all just got here, this white is just the canvas that was unpainted. So the frugal thing to do, the smart thing when you're painting is to save paint when you're a starving artist. This is a starving artist class, okay? This is video, it's in the video series. This is the Art Talk video series, class number three, okay? Sometimes I call it airbrush class, but on this one, we're going to be using the paint brushes as well. And I'm going to introduce you all to those later. All right, so I'm getting this yellow popping in the background, as you can see. This brush is cooperating well. It's nice and clean. It's like when you have your body clean, you can function. You can function well. You're not itchy, you're not dirty. You're not stinking. That's how this brush is. This brush is nice. It's working very hot right now. And you see that color? That's energy right there. That's an energetic color. All right? Now, believe it or not, what I'm getting ready to do is kind of wild, but I'm going to put some of this on the Nubian princess here. Just to give her a little of the flavor from the background, okay? And once you see this live, you'll understand what's going on as far as the colors a little better. You, it'll be more legible once you see it live. On the video, it does it no justice. This artwork, it does it no justice on these photos either. It really doesn't. We're gonna do some stenciling as well on here. And you'll see that a little later. I know some people that are, I guess, people that have been here for a while on my page, they've seen in the Art Attack studio, they've seen this piece before. And she has Africa in the middle of her back, okay? And then two little pyramids beside the Africa design. So that is going to be stenciled in a little later. And that's going to be fun. So I'm showing you a little stenciling, a little airbrushing, and also we're going to go into these acrylic brushes a little later. Maybe one, maybe two of them. I'm not sure. It depends on how I feel. I roll like that. It goes by the mood and by the necessity of the design. But what I mean by the necessity of the design is whatever I'm trying to achieve, whether it's softness or hard, pronounced lines or anything, I change up the tool that I'm using, all right? So now, what I'm doing, I'm going to take this yellow out of here, okay? For all the students watching and everybody else, I'm taking the yellow out, and I'm going to insert the brown, all right? It's as simple as that. It's very easy to use. Never force things into the gun, all right, because these break. And I went into that, the, the differences in the plastic and the metal. I went into that on class number one. It's all about airbrushing, okay? Now we go into the brown. Let's go. Let's go. I know you're tired of waiting. Yeah. So everybody that's here, welcome to the Art Attack Studio. I appreciate y'all coming in with me. We're going in on the Nubian Princess right here. This piece, again, y'all can go and bid on this piece. I'm going to post it later today or tomorrow, one or the other. But I'm going to post this piece. And it will be available to everybody, okay? And you can bid on it right at the site, which is Airmazing, A-I-R-M-A-Z-I-N-G. I have it here on this page as well. So you can consult that, that post and then go to the page. It's Airmazing Weekly Art Auction, okay? And this is one of the pieces that's going to be auctioned off on that site. So go to that page and support it if you can. 
because this is quality artwork. Just like I said in the description on the page, I told you it was quality artwork at affordable prices, not cheap. <laughs> it's very affordable because cheap, I think, is a sign of no quality. You, you know what I mean? So I don't say cheap, although I could because this is not a lot of money for these pieces. I don't charge a lot for my work, although I could. I don't charge a lot. I want it on as much walls, as many walls and homes as possible. I want to see my work in many places. When you purchase a piece from me, I would appreciate it if you could send me a photo so that I could show the rest of the family what's going on and how it looks in your home. I'm sure that it enhances the area wherever it's at, okay? Now see how the brown has a golden tone to it? That's what we're looking for. That's exactly what we want. That's exactly what we want. We want that golden look. And the way I achieved that just now was with with the brown and yellow, all right? But this is basically how we spray with the airbrush. This is how it's done. And what I want you to do is, I want you to take time and get your details right, okay? This is for all the students. Get all your details in and sometimes you have to work from the background in, all right? And that's what I'm doing right now. I had to work from the background in. And I kept this girl clean in here. So now what I'm doing is I'm finishing up some of the touches, some of the final touches on the background. Let me straighten out this brush real quick. I'll be right back with y'all. Now, we're going to work on drawing her out, okay? And this is with the black. This is all black. This is the one that I use in the videos. Those crazy art videos on YouTube. The Art Talk series, A-R-T-A-L-K. I want you to remember that when you go to YouTube, check me out. I'm going to do a little texture in here, as you can see, getting a little circles. Just to get a little curl going, a little texture in her hair. And like I said, you're working outward in, all right, toward the inside, okay? So you're coming in as you go around. You're closing this hole. Obviously, I'm closing up that hole. And then I'm going to work my way back out. And that way you're layering the design, okay? You're giving it some nice texture, which would be, in real life, in reality, she would have textured hair. So this fro is nice and fluffy, soft, and curly. That's the effect I want on this afro. And those that don't know what an afro is, you can Google that. <laughs> All right, this is coming along. Yeah, yeah, this is the Nubian princess right here. I say princess because she's not a queen yet. She's not a queen yet. Now, the way I protect, protected her earlier, I'm going to protect these areas outside of here. Yeah, I'm going to protect that as well. So, we're going to mask on that, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I just hold 
something loose here just a straight edge or something like that and I'm creating a kind of contrast shadow around her a little bit just a little bit then I'm gonna come in and do some edges just so we add a little realistic value to it here all right Yeah, it's a Nubian princess. Now, when you spray like this, you want to come in a little close so you have a little more control. And you pull him back a little bit, just a little bit, on the gun. All right? On the trigger. This is the trigger right here. Okay? That's the trigger. This is an airbrush. We call it an airbrush gun. But it's an airbrush. Okay? Now, I just want you to walk with me, family, as I go around the edges. I'm just going around the edges, all right? Make sure you have your line spraying right. And you can spray on something else, like I just did. Just reach over, have a piece of paper there or something. You don't need anything fancy, because this is a starving artist class, all right? You don't need anything fancy. Now I'm going to take this and bend it to where it bends around the edge. As you can see, I'm a big fan of that young lady. Uh, that's Nicki Minaj. I'm using her photo so every now and then I could peek at her for inspiration. All right? All right? No, I'm joking. It's an old photo because I, uh, I painted her on something before recently. Which was the video with Nicki Minaj and Cardi B beef. That's also on the Art Talk channel. You can catch that on YouTube. Okay? Go to Art Talk with Kevalone at YouTube and check out my videos. You'll probably like them because it's just like I'm doing now. I'm in the studio and I'm talking to you. Just like a regular conversation. No pressure. No pressure for you, definitely. I ain't gonna pressure you. So basically, I'm going in and I'm going outside with the black, okay? Now I'm going down to the lower half of our body, shadowing. We're just hitting a little bit of shadowing. You wanna ease into it, kinda like I did on the background, the way I went dark in some places and then lighter in other places you want to take your time and build your colors the way i streaked the green and then i went light and then now it's a little darker so you want to graduate into the dark colors later okay so just to have a soft edge and a soft feel to it you don't always want to use the stencil all right sometimes you have to do what we call free handing and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing a little freehand art on these edges, okay? Now this right here, I don't know if everybody can see it, but that's the crack, that's very important. I'm not trying to be nasty. But you have to shape the body the way it is in real life. So you have to have a little knowledge of anatomy to do that, all right? So that's what I'm doing now. I'm shaping up and shadowing out the piece. And what I mean by knowledge of the anatomy a little bit is that you know how you have shoulder blades and then you also have these little blades in the back of the back, all right? So in spite of it being stenciled with the a pyramid and a couple of pyramids in Africa, you know that somebody would have these little cuts and blades in the back, all right? So you want to add that. And I'm speaking to all the students now. You want to add that, all right? You don't want to miss out on the reality of it because the more information you put into it from real life, guess what? The more realism you're going to have, the realer it's going to look. And that's what your goal is, to achieve realism 
when you're painting people, especially, or animals, or anything like that. Alright? You want some realism. And again, this piece is going to be on the auction page, Air Amazing Weekly Art Auction. That's why it's weekly, because I'm painting things all the time. I'm going to try to share it with you guys, though, more, you know, now. Yeah, I'm going to start sharing these sessions. They call me Kevalone because I don't let people in my sessions. That's one reason they call me Kevalone. You can't get in here. <laughs> when I'm spraying, you can't get in here. I want to be peaceful and alone, all right? That's what you want. All you artists out there, when you're painting, don't let your environment keep you from having inner peace when you're painting. This is a peaceful thing. To me, as the artist, when I'm doing this type of creation and I'm being creative this way, I think that this is very relaxing and that's why I recommend it for people. And if you want to take a class and you want me to coach you one-on-one, -on -one, then we can do that, all right? Just remember, that you can email me at any time at kevalone, K-E-V-A-L-O-N-E, at gmail.com. That's gmail.com. You can catch me anywhere on YouTube. You can leave me messages on Facebook. If you're on this page, I'm not going to see you lucky, but you got a good timing because they're getting ready to fill this page up. Like, I, I need another type of page, which is what I'm working on now. But also the Air Amazing page. I think that's unlimited people. I'm not exactly sure. But that's the auction site, all right? Now, the, the Nubian Princess is one of a kind piece, okay? If you see this design somewhere, somebody took it from me. <laughs> Which I don't mind. You know, my mom, rest in peace, used to say, and that's the lady that bought me my first pack of Crayola crayons, okay? She used to tell me that people copying you is flattering because I used to have designs in the mall and I had a store I used to work in in the mall. And when I would paint a shirt, another guy in the neighborhood would paint the same shirt. And back then, you know, this is back in the day, but when movies would come out like Malcolm X and stuff like that, I would always paint shirts and hang them up in the store at the mall. And this guy would just bite my whole swag back then. That's what we called it back then, swag. But my style of painting, he was trying to imitate it. And I know that's not easy. That can't be easy. You know. But I have fun doing this. And I'm blessed to even be here with you guys. And I'm blessed to have you here with me. So thank you for coming in. I greatly appreciate it. Everybody that's joining me here, you could have been anywhere, okay? But you're here with me, and I appreciate that. Now, we're going to try to enrich, enrich this now a little more. Just a little more because it's coming to light now, all right? And we got the brown. I'm just going to finish up a little bit back here with the brown. As you can see, it made the it made the yellow look golden a little bit on the other sides. Okay? Cuz I'm going on one side with the brown a little bit, but it's dusting throughout the whole streak. And these are streaks, okay? So later, I'm going to add some metallic gold to this. But just for the sake of this video, I'm going to dust the brown in here and show you guys, you know, how it looks with the brown in there. All right. Now we got to hook up the princess a little bit. Okay, as you can see, this is pretty smooth the way it's spraying. You want to have a clean brush to do this.
Now I'm not gonna make her too dark. I just want a little coverage right here. You see that? I don't know if y'all know how quick that was, but this is quick. The airbrush is a fast tool to use. It's not slow at all. It's only as slow as you move, all right? If you know what you're doing a little bit, like what I mean by that is if you have your design in your mind the way you want it, or if you have a photo you're watching or referring to to come to this conclusion, then you want to study that photo prior to doing this. When I, when I was on the boardwalks, like in Atlantic City, Atlantic City is a busy boardwalk, in Myrtle Beach, places like that. When I was on South Beach in Miami, I couldn't move slow because I had a line of people trying to get things done and I had to survive. So I had to move fast and the airbrush will allow you to move fast. So don't make any excuses. Just go after it. Yeah, just go get it. And you'll be all right. Because if you go out somewhere in the mall, if you take my class, what I'm doing is I do an almost 24 hour type of support, okay? So all my people that are gonna join the classes, I want you to start with those videos, all right? This is one of them. Well, it's going to be one of them because I'm going to post this to YouTube. And it'll be on the list of videos, the Art Talk Airbrush Classes, the video class series. All right? And that's going to be a fun thing once I get a bunch of videos up. Because people, you know, they're going to be tuning in. And I have to keep content growing on there. Okay? Now, this, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to do a negative and a positive stencil technique for you guys, all right? I'm going to show you, and you're going to laugh because I really get into the starving artist thing. That's why I wanted to show you how inexpensive you can do it. Now, this was cut from copy paper. It's just a piece of paper, okay? You don't have to order stencils or anything. If you can draw a little bit, you can do this, all right? Now what I'm gonna do is center this. And this is gonna be in the center of her back. And that's the motherland, all right? These two pieces here symbolize pyramids. I'm just holding it in place. This is very simple. I'm holding it in place. I'm gonna dust a little white on this just to show y'all how easy it is, all right? I'm dusting a little white. Okay. Now this is receiving the paint inside a hole, an opening. So that's the positive stencil. All right. Now when I take this off, you're going to see the image there. Okay. What I'm doing here is I'm building the design on her back over all of the soft parts that I did earlier. So all of these nuances, the cuts in her back, the folds and the shoulder blades and all that, the little bone in the back of the neck, everything. You have to separate things the way they would be in real life. You have to imitate that here, okay? The textures and the hair, everything is going to be here, all right? I just want to show you the step-by-step -step process because a lot of people... They might do, I guess, classes and things like that, but you have to really, some of them good, do a good job, a lot of them do. But what I'm saying is, with a student like me, you have to, and I never was schooled or anything, but I know what I would want, and I would want a little more detail in the information. I want clear information, and I know a lot of people on this Facebook page, Kevalone Art Attack. Some of y'all have been here for years, and you know that I give out good, inf like strong information. I get detail with my information, just the same way I do with the artwork. I get detail with it. So once you do this, and I'm talking to everybody, including the students, all right? Once you do something like this, 
stencil, you want to make sure it's dry before you do the second step of the stencil, okay? And I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is the fun part. You ever hear that song, when we gonna get to the good part? Ugh, ah. All right, now, this is the negative part of the stencil. All of it's positive, but this is the negative part, all right? Now, if you're wondering how this is sticking on here, I have double face tape on here. But you want to take your t-shirt and stick it to there and, you know, get some of the tackiness out of it before you want to apply it to your piece, okay? So this was what I cut out of the other piece. That's what this is. So you want to lay it on there exactly where it went, the exact shape. Okay, you don't want it to echo by having it off a little bit because you'll have an edge and I call it an echo, all right? Now, what we're doing, we're going to do a burst coming out of the Mother Africa because that's the cradle of civilization. And you want to show the powerful effects whenever you do Africa, you want to do all of the respect you want to have all of the respect for Africa when you paint it, okay? Any way that you depict it. Because if you go, and I've never been, but I'm going one day. Not permanently, but um, I'm going one day. But if you go, you'll see the majesty of it all. You'll see how majestic it can be. Now, I'm going around the edge first, all right? That's what we're going to do first. We're going to go around the edge of this. So I'm going to get in close a little bit and dust around here, okay? I'm just dusting a little black lightly, all right, lightly. And the black, I'm getting this out the way because later after this, I'm going to drop a little yellow because we're sticking with this theme of gold, the golden yellow, all right, with the brown and yellow. That's what we're sticking with. Those are the colors. So we want to kind of build it into what it's going to be. And that's what we're doing right now. Now, you know, a pyramid has sides to it. So you want to create your sides on these pyramids. And the airbrush has so much control to it when you get in close, especially this Neo. The Neo is a serious tool, all right? That's why I recommend it for this class and you'll see in class number one I recommend the Neo and that's what this is all right now what I meant by the burst is it's going to have some lines going in a circular pattern but, but bursting from behind now, what, it, what you want to do is you start your line lightly okay start lightly don't commit too quickly, okay? I want you to just take your time and don't just bust it out of there with a dark black line. You don't want to do that because this is irreversible, okay? Unless you know my technique for erasing, this is irreversible. And I can teach you all those techniques in the private classes. And that's the direct one-on-one -on -one coaching, okay? Now, everybody that's joining me today, I really appreciate y'all being here. Like I said earlier, you could be anywhere, but I wanted you to come and enjoy me painting as much as I'm going to enjoy doing it, and I'm enjoying it right now. I'm having a lot of fun. I don't think anything other than maybe like, well, I'm not going to say that, but well, if I was having sex, it might be a little more fun, but she ain't here right now, so anyway, welcome. You in the Art Attack studio, okay? Now look, I'm going to tell you something powerful about the stencil. This is protecting what we call masking. In the art, they call it masking. Now loose masking is what I was doing around the edge when I held that paper to protect her from the green, and when I held 
the green, held the paper over the green to protect it from the brown inside her, right? Y'all might have saw that earlier if you were here. Some of, you, some of you are just joining us, so that's why I'm explaining everything a couple of times. But basically, what you're doing is you're creating a situation where you have contrast between the two things. So this dark edge is going to make this Africa pop. And I'll show you what I mean when I pull this off. Check that out. Now you have Mother Africa there in the middle. All right. And look, look at the double face tape. It's repositionable. So I don't really have to throw this away, but keep in mind, it's a piece of paper. So when you talk about a starving artist, I'm showing you firsthand how we do it. This is how we do it. I'm not Montel Jordan, but this is how we do it. All right. I'm going to write, write a little bit of line in here and I'm stroking. What I'm doing is I'm just tapping it. I'm not pulling back on the trigger. I'm writing slowly and gradually on here. Okay? And then I'm going to move in closer and darken the line. And this gives it a little pop once I draw the color on top. Which, of course, is going to be that yellow. Okay? And for those that didn't hear me, this is the Nubian Princess. You'll see it on the auction site. Air Amazing, A-I-R-M-A-Z-I-N-G. It's not there for nothing. I told you, I'm going to do some paintings. I wasn't playing. And it's a Facebook page, so I'm showing you live on Facebook what's going on. Because y'all are family now. If you're here, you practically family. I'm not going to kick you out. I'm not going to rush you. You can stay long as you want, all right? Just don't eat up everything. It's all good. Now that's the burst. This is what I was talking about. This is the exciting part. Like it's coming together now. Yeah, this thing is going to be popping in a minute. And I'm pretty fast anyway, but this brush, the Neo, okay? It's about $80 in Hobby Lobby somewhere if it's on sale. All right? Now this leads down to the bottom. So you want your lines to be even. If that's her back, then you want the lines to be even. And the line coming up from her bottom should match that line. And I'm just building my texture up here. Okay? I'm just building the texture in her hair. All right? I appreciate y'all coming and painting with me, man. I appreciate y'all checking this out. Because this is something to behold when you're painting. When somebody's painting and they love doing it, it's a, it's a sight to behold. It's like watching a swimmer that can swim real good. You know, or a singer that can sing. You know, this is something that I've been doing since I was a child. My family knows the people that are related to me on this page. They know. They know I've been doing this since a little boy. All right? Now, your stencils are going to get dirty. So don't worry about it because they supposed to be a cheap material, very inexpensive material. So don't worry about that. But don't get Nikki dirty though. All right? Don't get Nikki dirty. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm just making a line establishing the triangular shape of those pyramids. Yeah. Cuz they try to tell you that the pyramids are not in Africa. So that's why we depict the pyramids every time we do Africa, if we can. Sometimes it don't call for it, but me on this one? Oh, yeah. We're going to show y'all the real education, not just his story, okay? We're going to show you some real history. Now, I'm using the round edge up here because it's a rounded circle. Just to show you, I'm spraying. There you go. All right? The proof is in the pudding, as they used to say. I like to prove to y'all that I'm spraying live, you know? I'm not playing games up in here. We getting it in, and we getting it done, all right? So if you place an order, this is how speedy and accurately I'm going to do it, all right? And I have the tools to do it properly. 
If you ever want a good Christmas gift, send me your photo of your little adorable little girl or a puppy or anything. I painted families really all over America. I painted families, different cities, different states. People ship things to me. They send items and stuff to paint on. As y'all seen on my page here, I paint on lamps. I painted some little girls on some lamps and people were kind of flabbergasted about that. But like I told them, I paint anything on anything. So now that's the shadow. Her butt needs a little shadow. And you know, a perfect booty has like some dimples above. Everybody don't have that, but I'm gonna put them there, all right? Just ever so lightly. Yeah, because I know the anatomy, okay? A little bit. I'm not a doctor, but I know a little bit about the anatomy. And that's what you have to know if you're painting anything like an eyeball or, you know, because as you well know, I do portraits. That's my specialty, people's faces. So you'll see me painting Lil Wayne on there, on YouTube, on the Art Talk channel. You'll see me painting Cat Williams and the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, rest in peace. A lot of people. I did Mac Miller. I did Tupac. I have speed up videos where you can enjoy it with no talking in case you don't like my raspy voice. You don't have to hear it. You can still enjoy the artwork, okay? And that's what it's all about is making y'all comfortable and enjoying yourself here when you're on Facebook or especially at my page. I like for you to enjoy yourself. Now, when she's sitting here, okay, this, this is another thing about realism or a little bit of, you know, effects of looking real. You want to have shadows that imitate the reality as well. So she would be casting a shadow on the ground if she's sitting here. So that's why I'm going to cast a little bit of shadow underneath her. And you'll see it when I post the photo. You're going to see this clearer, everything. you can see everything clearer. And that's on the auction page, okay? Air Amazing. Weekly art auction. It's called Air Amazing. All right. So I'm, I'm protecting her skin and dusting the black underneath. So it looks like she's sitting down for real. Like That's the effect you want. That's the effect you want, all right? Yeah, it's coming along. And that's because of this airbrush. It's the Neo. You know, Neo, I think they stole it from the Matrix because Neo was the one in the Matrix, which is one of my favorite series of movie series, action. I like all kind of a lot of different movies, but action, as far as action, that was a good action movie. All right. Now, Neo, I don't know how long it's been out. I've been using it for about, probably about six years. I've been using this type of gun. And this is the least expensive one. I painted walls, vehicles. All kinds of things. So you don't really have to spend upscale money to get upscale quality. All right? I just want you to know that. You can save a lot of money with the information I'm going to give you in the class. All right? So I want everybody to really look into taking the class. If you want a good hobby. And if you're not into that, I just want you to look. Okay? Now what I'm doing is... I'm going to put some highlights on here and brighten up some of the shine in her skin a little bit and in the Africa design. So we're going to bring this up a little bit, turn it up with a little more white in the middle, in the center. So it has a little glow. All right. And then on her cheeks down here, I don't want to sound nasty or freaky or nothing. This is just... I don't know what else to call it. I think these are just cheeks, butt cheeks or whatever you want to call it. But the highlights, that that's real vicious to do that. Like you're going to show a little shine and the contrast from the brown to the black. Okay. 
this is how you do it. You're going to get all these highlights popping. That's how you do it. And on the skin, you really want it to look a little bit like skin. So you want to get the highlights, which is the contrast of, I guess, moisture or just a shine so the person is not ashy. Because when you do portraits, you want to avoid making people look ashy, okay? You better not make me look ashy. I know that. I'm going to have something to say about that. Yeah, in the center. And I'm keeping the line in the center of the arms, all right? So that I don't affect that, that shadow, the nice shadow I created. So you see how this is brown, all right? And then this is where the shadow is on the arm. That would be in real life, it would be like that. Because the width of her rib cage, and it's turning in like a curve, the rib cage. So it's casting a shadow onto her arm, especially with her hands between her legs like that. So she's kind of in the Indian squad or something like that. And that's really what is going on here. All right. Now on her legs as well, you want a little bit of, just cast a little bit of highlight on her legs. But don't pull back hard on this because remember, the Neo is such a good airbrush. I could pull back on this and wet somebody up with it. If I wanted to, I don't do that, but I'm totally non-violent. I have a Martin Luther King nose and I'm non-violent. Now see how it's glowing a little better now? All right. This is bringing it to life. I want you to know that this is only this quick because of the cooperation of the brush. And it doesn't matter how good you are or how bad you are with it. If you follow steps and you have a procedure that you paint by, which means like you have a, just a standard way of painting to stay safe, like I do. I just have a certain way of painting. Like I'm patient. You also have to have patience to do this, okay? Look at that line going around the edge there, though. And I'm not going outside of it. To mess with the black I'm just making the Africa glow with that white you see yeah that's coming along all right now what we're gonna do is go back way back to the background and I'm just gonna dust a little bit of white in the background just to accent some of these streaks Okay, and to create new streaks a little bit. Just to make it pop a little more, all right? Whoever gets this painting, whoever buys it on the auction site and wins the bid on this, you're gonna be lucky. This is a great painting right here. I really love this piece. The Nubian Princess. This is another weird stencil I cut just for this. Okay, now what I'm doing is, this is the loose masking I was telling you about. I'm just protecting her hair and lightly dusting a little white. And you see how it's already bringing out the afro. You see that? See the difference here? And the difference here? Yeah, I'm bringing it out. And then later, I'm going to dust a little yellow where this white is and really make it pop. Also, what I'm doing is I'm eliminating the overspray from the black. As you can see right here, there's a little overspray from this black here, all right, onto the background. I'm eliminating that with this glow around her afro, all right? Simple mathematics. That's simple mathematics right there. And I keep it simple so that you could learn more than have problems. I want you to be problem free virtually when you're doing this. Now it doesn't hurt to go in freehand and do some things too. Don't be scared. All right, don't be scared. Just go on in there, dust that like that a little bit. And now it's coming along. 
When I put this yellow back in there, it's going to be like a yellow glow, a golden glow around her head, which symbolizes her mentality, which is a lot about what she knows, how she was raised. People always protect their head. As you know, that's the house of the brain. You want to protect that, protect your brain. That's why you should stay drug free. Don't use drugs or anything like that because your brain is going to be affected. You're not going to remember anything I said. You're going to be failing in my class. No, this class is not like that. You won't fail. All right. And any mistake you make, you think it's a mistake in art. There's no mistakes because paint on paint on paint is what it's all about. So you don't have to worry about mistakes because you have paint, a little more paint to actually, you know, help yourself to correct these little errors if you have any. If you have overspray or anything like I did in the background here, as you can see, I take the white and make a glow. Even though this design has that, it's calling for that because I usually do a glow around her head. Not the whole body, not around here or here. I do it on the head only because that sets off the painting a little more and it makes the background all of these streaks pop all right all of these streaks pop when you do that so that's why i do that now we back to the yellow i was just telling you about watch this peep this all right okay princess is glowing a little bit Okay, and see this being that it's straight white under there, this is a different yellow than the brown because I'm not putting brown in this. All right, so that glow is true glow. It's a true glow. This shows you the power of the airbrush. On a t-shirt, on a wall, anywhere you do this, you can do the same technique. Now what we're going to do is go into the Africa part right here and with the yellow, all right? I'm going to do this little island part. No, you can't forget that when you draw Africa. Us is not really depicting Africa. And here we go. Look at that. That's what I was talking about. You just got to dust a little yellow over the white. Okay? Now I have my little tattoo on her back. All right. Yeah, you make sure your bid on this. It starts at $25. You're not going to get a painting like this anywhere on the planet for low prices like these. All right. I'm just looking out for y'all. My YouTube, Facebook, my family on those channels. And right here, joining me now. I'm just telling you that because everywhere else I would charge a lot more for this. All right? If you want a portrait, you can order them right on the page. You could pay for it right on the page. Remember, it doesn't include shipping. So find out what the shipping price is to your town. And then we'll be able to send it to you. Send it right back to you. All right? Yeah, I'll take care of you. I promise you I will take care of you this year. I wasn't able to make it out here last year, but I'm back on a social media thing. So look at that glow around her fro. You didn't know? I'm a poet. Didn't even know it. All right. Now we're going to go in with a little brown over that. Just to get that golden effect. Not the whole thing around her fro. I just mean the areas that I just covered. I'm going to just dust a little bit. You probably can't even see it. It's just slightly. Just slightly. Not a lot. Because remember, I, I was telling you earlier, don't commit the thing to dark lines too early. You don't want to prematurely darken this, okay? So now that line that I drew around the 
the edge, I mean in the center, I'm darking it on the edge. So then that gives it a little raise. This raise is in the middle. It has that effect a little bit. Once I darken the edge. Now, another sample of that is how this edge is dark. And it brings her out. It makes her pop from the background a little more. All right? So you want to play with it when you have the airbrush. You want to play with contrast, shadows, and everything like that. All right? But this is class number two, and as you'll know, I demonstrate a lot of different things in the classes so that you can get an idea of what to do, okay? So now this is what we're going to do next. We're going to get a brush out. I think I'm going to take the fan brush. This is the fan brush, okay? And then this one is a square brush, all right? But for what I'm going to do right now, you can use just about any brush for that. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, to get the background really nice, and welcome to everybody in the room. Thank you for joining me. What you want to do is take two brushes, okay? And you want to tap it. All right. You want to be careful though. Don't dirty up the princess, all right? And then you might want to just tap a couple of streaks in there, different places on the canvas just to give it a little more effect, okay? And if you get too dark with something, you could always take the a cloth or anything like that. And this rubs right off while it's wet, by the way. And this is Createx paint. I just want you to know what we're using in the class. This is Createx. This is called opaque yellow. All right? This is opaque yellow. If you get all of the primary colors, and then as you know, from your old art class, if you had one, you know the primary colors are the colors you can't make. You can't create those colors. So it's white, black, red, green, and yellow. All right? So the square brush is what I'm using on the Africa in the middle, just to make it pop a little more. Okay, and then the pyramids also, and this little island right here to the right, or the southeast of Africa, I believe that is. On here is the southeast. And what you want to do is, just like in real life, even though these are little dots, these triangles, what you want to do is, if it's light and casting a shadow, there's light hitting it. So you want to go from the side where the light is with the bright color. The Africa is protruding out a little bit. So you want to keep that kind of, you know, in the middle. But usually if it's casting a shadow from one side, it's basically being hit by a light source from somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. See, we're cranking now. So I'm taking a little cup, which is the top, actually, off the Createx. And I'm just taking the paint. I'm dipping it. Not too much. Just enough to wet the brush. And you want to snap it on there like that. But swing it so that you get, like, a long effect. You don't want to just splatter it on there any kind of way. Because I'm teaching y'all better than that. Don't be splattering it on there any kind of way. We don't do that. All right? Now, sometimes I would take white and splatter it a little bit, but I'm going to leave it there and keep it subtle for y'all. All right? Now what I'm going to do, take the same yellow brush and the brown. All right? I'm going to dip a little bit of brown on here, and then we're going to tap it with that a little bit. Yeah. 
and then the yellow has mixed with the brown so it has a nice effect it's not just brown it's brown in places and it's a yellowish brown like a golden brown in places all right but this is the african the, i mean the nubian princess and you could call it african princess if you buy it you could call it what you want in your home in the privacy of your own home i don't mind but on here this is the nubian princess i want you to look up nubian that's your one of your homeworks for tonight <laughs> Look up what Nubian means and you'll see the relation to Africa. So I'm taking the dark side and putting a little more brown on it. But this is basically it. Yeah, that's the African Nubian princess. All right. Now the fan brush. I'm going from the square brush, which is a lot smaller. To the fan brush now and I'll show you what I'm doing we're gonna add a little more texture to the hair so like I was saying earlier don't go dark don't commit too early don't commit too early now with your lines and your colors now what I'm saying is about texture I just put a little black on here I'm gonna show you watch it see how it's running that's create text it's not a heavy paint I have heavy acrylics here, but I'm just showing you with one style of paint because I don't want to overdo it with you too quickly, all right? Now, you want to turn it to the side a little bit and just tap and get your effects. I use this for trees and everything, too. Now, I'm turning a little bit just to curve it to get my curls, okay? Now, this brush has, like, these bristles that stick out, which are perfect for this this type of effect when you hang this up on your wall it's really gonna make any room glow okay I'm gonna have a speeded up version of this video it's gonna be really funny because you watched me do it live okay so you guys that are here attending this class number three art talk video series class number three you're going to enjoy the speeded up version of this video more than other people because you saw me doing it live. You, you know, it's just a whole different vibe when it's speeded up. And if you've ever seen my speeded up videos, you know what I'm talking about. All right. Now you want to go left and right just to determine what is your best stroke. Okay. Cause this thing, you know, Without you working it, it probably won't cooperate. You have to make it do what it do. All right. So that's my edge. I have a little, adding a little nap, a little curl, a little texture to her hair. You see how the background looks, though, against this black? That's what I'm talking about. I could have did this in the on the beach, in the mall, anywhere. You should be able to apply your technique because what you have to do is zone stuff out. You have to be able to zone things out, all right? And that's what we're doing here today. We're kind of just getting deep into it. I don't have any, any distractions, hindrances, or craziness in here because this is the Art Attack Studio. We don't play that. It has to be peaceful. So that I could think my way through. This is like strategy. You have to strategize what you're going to do next. How you're going to apply this or that. Or go light or heavy. It's not really like something you're going to rush. If you rush, you're not going to have the best effects. You're not going to have the best results. And my goal for you guys is to give you the best results. All right? Now, always clean your brushes. Don't leave paint on your brushes too long because you'll ruin the whole texture of the brush. It won't stroke right. It won't do the same effects so easily like it's doing here. So as you can see, I added texture to the edge now. That really brought her to life a little more. All right? Just like the dimples on her butt, the shadows on the edges, 
the the creases, the shoulder blade creases in here, this line down her back, all of that comes from real life. So that's what's going to give you your realistic effect. When you finally get done with it, it should have a little bit of realistic effect. And that's what we're doing right here. So now the background was kind of lazy the way it was, so I splattered it up just to give it a little more a little more texture and a little more action and a little more energy because these colors are kind of bright. So again, this is going to be in the Art Talk videos, the series on YouTube. It's called A-R-T-A-L-K. And I want you to go there and support me. Just subscribe to the channel if you can and like the video if you like it and help a brother out with that. I appreciate it. I need some subscriptions at YouTube, okay? And also, this will be auctioned off. I'm probably going to post it tonight. And that's on Air Amazing. Air Amazing is on this page. It's attached to this page. So it's the Air Amazing Weekly Art Auction, okay? And I'm auctioning off pieces. It's gonna The opening bid for this piece is going to be $25. All of that work y'all just seen me do... All I'm going to start charging y'all is $25. And then the bid goes up from there. So y'all could bid against each other or whatever. But I'm opening the bid at $25. So if the bid doesn't go up and you don't bid against the person for this piece, they're going to get it for $25, okay? All right. I want to thank everybody for joining me today here in the Art Attack studio. And again, my name is Kev Alone. I'm your art instructor. If you want to take some classes, just holler at me. I'm all over the internet. I'm everywhere. All right? Thank you very much. Y'all have a blessed day.